you have quite an interesting place in this whole legacy of LGBTness in television. Mm -hmm. I get I get to use the letter G. <laughs> Now, you know, looking back at when The Queerest Folk was actually, you know, in production and on, did you kind of think about the impact it was having on audiences at the time? Not in a way that would be relevant to the answer to this question. Um, I think I was a little bit overwhelmed by everything at the time. I was just trying to stay upright and uh, get the work done and not make a fool of myself and not do a disservice to the people that I was trying to represent. That's really all I cared about. And I sort of had to get out of that space and take a little while beyond it to appreciate it more now. At the time, I couldn't appreciate it for what it was going to mean or what it could possibly have meant and has come to me now because too much going on, right? Um, and, you know, and I know you still hear from all those fans, and I know there's still reunions, and people are always trying to get you guys to get back together. Is that right? Aren't there different fan groupings and things like that? A few, yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, what are you working on now so people know what you're up to? Um, at the moment, working on my own stuff and possibly going forward with a, a film maybe by the end of the year, beginning of next year. And it's, for those of those who know about me, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to keep it a little bit cagey at the moment because that's how I like to, that's how I like to do it. Um, other than that, talking to you. <laughs> when was the last time you saw an, any episode of Queer as Folk? When did you come across the last? The last time that I saw an episode, I haven't seen an, an entire episode for a long time. Uh, I think I saw a pass by of something on Logo, like a re air. No, sorry, a Netflix. Hotel, maybe? I know Showtime was re-airing this, this past summer. Yeah. No, sorry, not Netflix, Showtime. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I've been watching so much Netflix. Out of it. There you go, Netflix. It's all free. Um, Peaky Blinders. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't remember exactly. I saw a pan, a quick pan of a scene. I can't even remember exactly what the scene was. I just saw a face that I recognized, like I was looking in a mirror, and it was gone.